and welcome to another video. I'm uh, here at the new Wisconsin farm and uh, previously I've been filming at the California and Felsbrunn farm in Europe and now I'm um, now I'm at this farm here. Uh, just made the first video here planting in my 8R uh, 310 which is currently out in the field and uh, it's just going to be a kind of a simple video I guess uh, for the moment. I did get the GPS figured out that was what I was working on the last video and <laughs> unfortunately the GPS track is kind of cutting across uh, the field at kind of a not not exactly what I was imagining but it's it's gonna work I guess. Um, the GPS system is you know it can only go in a straight line I thought I could do curves and stuff but as far as I know it's only gonna do a straight line so I'm just gonna plan uh, to work with that but I'm just going to head out into the field now. I've got, um, oh, no, I need to, I need to put seed in the, uh, in the, uh, trailer here. And it's in a bad spot. <laughs> Let me just... I'll just leave that where it is. Just hop in the skid loader real quick. Everything's brand new. I'm brand new to this farm. Just bought a bunch of equipment, so I don't try to overbuy. So <laughs> try to buy what's functional. Skid loader is obviously a uh, absolute necessary one. You could argue otherwise, but I find it pretty necessary. So oops. All oh, right. <laughs> this is a mod here. I just uh, instead of things automatically hooking up, or um, in some instances, like when you hook up to a trailer or something, like the trailer I'm <laughs> bumping against here, uh, when you hook up to trailers that have wires and, and things like that, um, you have to physically get out of the vehicle and hook it up, just like real life. But um, for those who don't know, that's in uh, in the farm sim. Sometimes it's just like you know you hit a button and it's done. But I just like all the different mods that add a little bit more realism uh, to just uh, being it, being in this world. So, oops. Of course, of course, I'm always uh, there's always a chance of me making a fool of myself while I'm recording one of these. <laughs> it's like I'm trying to do two things at once. There we go. And I just need to unfold that. This thing's kind of finicky. Just gotta scroll through the settings. Oh, okay. Open covers is what I was looking for. That's not looking for. Okay, and then we're just gonna dump the seed and fill up there we go perfect dumps on the bottom and I'm just going to take a <laughs> hell of a this disappears <laughs> zero waste no trash Oops. Okay, well that part's done. Fold this up. Alright. That's right, it's got two chambers. Cool. Okay, that's done. Let's get backed up. And head out to the field. Try not to hit anything, hit anything along the way. <laughs> And if you ever, uh, if you're ever watching these videos and you play farm sim and you see a mod or a vehicle or something that you uh, aren't familiar with or you want to ask about, just drop a comment and I'll, I should have a record of the stuff I've downloaded and where I got it from. So feel free to ask. Uh, 
I often enjoy watching other people's videos and just uh, seeing what types of mods they have and you know buildings, equipment, uh, vehicles. Just like it's like a massive, massive uh, selection, and uh, yeah, it's pretty neat the stuff that people make. This is my soil sampling rig there, just a small fent with a soil sample rig on the back. Uh, I use the precision farming mod, which if you don't know, it's basically just uh, adds a little bit more realism to, you know, like things like uh, soil type and pH and fertilizer and, or wet or fertilized, you know, all the different things, nitrogen content of the soil, all that different stuff and eventually yield uh, once I start harvesting. But for now, we're, we're just in the planting stage at the moment. And I'm just heading out to the field here. Uh, I do have a mod that makes <laughs> um, certain vehicles not do well in in uh, in what well, I guess you call that mud. It kind of looks mud. It's a lot looks pretty wet, but the tractor doesn't struggle obviously. But I'm going to see you right now if this truck will. Uh, oh yeah. <laughs> All right, well, not not too bad. Just a little bit of spinning going on. Um, yeah, that's one thing. <laughs> okay, yeah, now we're. It's a good thing it's not a full load in the in the, uh, in the seed trailer here. Okay, that wasn't too bad. I've seen worse. I've seen I've like unexpectedly, you know, it's like driven the truck into the field and all of a sudden it just stops like completely. So that wasn't too bad. Um, okay, so the spout is going to be on the other side, and I can move the planter, of course. Um, how do I want to... <laughs> Watch me overthink something now. Watch me overthink how I'm going to do this. <laughs> Spouts on the left on this side. Um, it would be really easy to move the tractor, so I might as well just do that. Since I've already done this line anyway. Yeah, there we go. Easy. I love this ADAR. I love the look of this thing. This thing is a beast. I don't have this tractor in any of my... Well, actually, I've got the... Uh, what's it? The ADAR X? So it's the same design on the front you know, grill headlight area, but uh, this thing is freaking, just looks awesome. <laughs> it's like really satisfying to uh, drive this around. <sighs> okay. In the cab, just gonna uh, back this up a little bit, and I'm need to be on the other side of the truck. Uh, so it's gonna take it nice and easy. Uh, no point in folding it up. It's just gonna be nice and slow with it. Uh, I wish my wind turbines were spinning today, but we don't have any wind, which that's fine. Um, I don't have uh, much time invested in this map at all, so I don't know what the weather's gonna be like. Um, ooh. <laughs> look, at, look new, this thing's even spinning out. What the heck? Yeah, I know this. If you're wondering what the dotted white line is, <laughs> that is part of the uh, GPS system, which is currently. Uh, oh, it's really tight. <laughs> oh <my> God. <laughs> Don't hit the truck. <laughs> Woo. That's close. Anyway, like I was saying, the uh, white dotted line that you're seeing is part of the GPS system. So if you're looking at the right hand of the screen right now, like where all the... Um, man, really? <laughs> this thing shouldn't be struggling to pull this. And sometimes this mod is a bit much. <laughs> it's like, come on, like this tractor could obviously have no issue right now. Uh, but anyway, once again, what I was saying was, yeah, so GPS system, it was a green icon. I'll talk about it again once you get back in the cab, but basically it's, you know, helps with the guidance and auto steering and all that. Uh, pipe out. And now I just need to get it lined up. Probably have to, uh, yeah, might have to turn the tractor again, back it up. 
One of these things is just going to give me a hard time, and it's going to be the truck versus the tractor. But of course, we didn't see the tractor spinning out for no reason at all. So yeah, like I was saying, the green icon there looks like a little floating satellite is uh, part of the GPS system. Wow, oh, this is embarrassing. <laughs> and uh, the steering wheel has a line through it, the white icon that'll turn green when I'm using auto steering. And uh, the white dots will have more dots around them. And uh, it'll make more sense once I actually show how that works. Okay. And it should start filling it up by itself, so I don't have to get back and forth too many times. But <laughs> As you can see, I just love to get myself in really cramped, tight positions here. <laughs> ah, no! <laughs> like I said, make a fool of myself. <laughs> but... I do enjoy hopping in this thing whenever I get the chance. This thing's actually pretty fun to drive. Maybe I should just make this my seat truck. Okay, well this will be easier, I hope. Turns into a whole operation. Okay, back this up nice and easy. Can't tell what's going on back here. Oh, okay. There we go. <laughs> it almost looks correct. Close enough. So I didn't really need seed anyway to begin with, but <laughs> just for the sake of content, you know, watch me struggle. And, yeah, okay, so, now it's close cover, hop out of the tractor, truck can just sit here, parked, and I'll go fold that in. Okay, I'm just going to shut this thing off. I drove through my fresh seed bed, that's awesome. <laughs> this thing is pretty cool. <laughs> it's got the crane, uh, the crane arm too, which would, uh, would be very useful if I was only using the seed bags, that would be pretty awesome. But it'll come in handy later at some point. I'm just going to try and make sure this is out of the way. For a while, and if I leave it right here, it should be. Yeah. I've already done both those, so. Okay, there we go. Cool. That's done. And all right, now I'm gonna figure out where to pick up where I left off. Uh, oh, okay, so I was planning, <laughs> I don't know, somehow I just got like really, I don't know, screwed up here, but I guess I'll just start in this direction since, yeah, <laughs> whatever. Okay, time for GPS, so icon is on, oh, I gotta load a track, of course. Let's load a track then. Meter one field. Should be loaded already. There we go. Okay. Oh, so it's showing the dots. Oh, it is showing the dots. Where are the dots? Oh, okay, there they go. Just took it a second to load. There we go. So, okay, so now the dots I was talking about earlier make sense. So we had one row of white dots, and now we've got the green dots as well. It doesn't look like it's backing up straight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so <you're, laughs> I think the auto steering only works when it's uh, 
working driving forwards <laughs> doesn't seem to correct the steering when driving back me up even when it's a one okay okay let's let's get this show on the road steering one let me start right there lower this uh, planter make sure yeah, my speed is set seat is correct um, okay so we're on and let's roll and that's it. It does it all. It does everything else by itself, which is nice. Except for turning around. And I still have a lot to learn about the GPS mod. I've just learned enough to you you know get the basic understanding of it, but uh, I'm sure there's there's always more there's a lot more stuff in depth on any of these things, you know, certain controls or keyboard commands and stuff I don't know about know about or haven't uh, tried out so but anyway yeah so just uh, just doing some more planting and um, excited to uh, be at a different farm but uh, not sure if I have a favorite I think I mean I'm, I'm the most time invested at the California farm um, but this this uh, map here the Wisconsin map is pretty fun to drive around um, it feels really you know feels really realistic as uh, as far as being in the country and driving on bumpy roads and everything um, but yeah I'm hoping yeah I'm looking forward to uh, expanding here and you know adding some you know detailed structures and things like that so uh, but I think yeah, I'll be going back to the California farm for a bit and then back to Felsbrunn uh, just because it's you know early spring everywhere now so going to try and rotate uh, between all the different places um, some uh, like California farm there's not much really going on at the moment um, it's not quite warm enough to plant um, gonna, oh no we're gonna <laughs> run into the wind turbine here detour oh actually you know what that is kind of the end isn't it okay so I'm going to spin around here and head in the other direction now. I'm trying not to make a big fat mess. And the dots you're seeing now are the suggested path, um, but it will adjust itself based on where I'm pointing the tractor. So, oops, I try not to drive the planters through the brush, but. It's a tough planter. It'll do. It'll. It'll be fine. Turn it back up a bit now. And so we start at the end. Now I, I realized, <laughs> you know, it's like I realized when I first started out, like I should have just done the back and forth and then done the uh, edge around the field. Um, you know, one like two rows around the field completely, but. Uh, I thought the GPS was going to allow me to just map it with the shape of the field, but obviously that's not what's happening right now. So uh, I'm going to criticize myself later. But okay, um, yeah. So we're down and on. So just a lot of straight lines, but at the end of the day, this is going to make it easier for multiple trips to the field when I have to bring in you know the fertilizer or the combine it's just all going to be the same I don't have to you know create new routes or anything and um, canola is not really a I mean it's it's not really a row crop I mean if it's corn it'd definitely be you know definitely be better just to ha have everything follow one path but canola kind of just grows you know more or less everywhere but at least according to the sim so Perfect. So, as you can see, it's really satisfying to, you know, come in the, through the gap here and just, it's perfect. It's perfectly aligned. Like, it is not over overwriting or, you know, we're not going over stuff we already planted. It's, like, perfectly aligned. So, that's one of the main reasons I use this is just, you know, it makes it so easy. So, it's just satisfying to... <laughs> not have gaps or anything 
um, you know, stuff like that in the background. So it's just going to look really nice um, once it's all planted and when it finally, uh, when the canola finally pops. And it's a nice yellow field. That's like one of my favorite things to see is a nice thick yellow field of canola. But anyway, yep, I'm just going to be in the cab for a while. Probably end the video here. Um, and uh, yeah, this is about <laughs> this is about it for a while, uh, planting wise. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.